Hi, this is Elisa from Local King Rubber Stand. Welcome to my channel. Have you got a chance to take a look at 2021 spring new release yet? If you haven't, make sure you click the link below. Eight brand new background stamps are available now and I have uploaded a lot of video to show you how to use those eight background stamps. Which one is your favorite? Last video, I was asking all my viewers to Take a guess which background stamp is the number one sell this time. The answer is the perfect stone. So the perfect stone and the rice lake, they are actually back to back and they are all eight of the background stamps, they are pretty evenly, but the perfect stone and the rice lake, uh, those two background stamps, they are just on the top of the line. If you haven't got a chance to take a look at uh, the video, make sure you check it out. I'm sure you will enjoy it. So that's the start today's video. Want to take a look at what I'm going to show you today? The magic carpet. Isn't that awesome? Sometimes it's really hard to, um, to imagine uh, when you see just a black and white image. So look how pretty those uh, colors, and I'm going to show you how to do it. It's so easy, you won't believe it. So that's started. Okay, so the material list is actually pretty simple. For example, this uh, first card I made is just so simple. I only use gold embossing and see how pretty it is. And I got these uh, tassels from the dollar store. And then you probably worry, say, hey, Lisa, our dollar store doesn't carry those kind of stuff. I, uh, I, I guess. So I actually, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make it your own. Okay. And then we are going to, I wish you can see the color. This color is actually much prettier, the real car than the um, video. You can see those are shimmering colors. That I use at least the uh, mica color. Any watercolor working on the dark car star, they will work just fine. If you still have a Twinkie H2O paint, they will definitely work too. So gold embossing versus mark, and I'm going to show you how you can make this one. And then I use this pattern paper. If you have a, something similar like that, just feel free to use that. If not, you can just use a red car style. They will work just fine. But I got this pattern paper from the Henkos. So I will... They have a quite a... Quite a few different kind of those kind of paper. And this one, I don't know what it's called but it is from the Henko design. They have too many different colors. I will put the link below if you are um, interested in purchasing some of their, their paper. I think they do have an online store. I'm not sure I'm going to check it out. Well, but you can always replace with something else. So this was the first card that I made. It's very, very simple. And I did use the foil, the red foil. You can see how pretty it is. And then just use the magic color mushroom kind of um, rub the color on top. But I know a lot of you guys probably don't have uh, those uh, foil machine. And this is actually very detailed. I don't think so. Laminator will get what we are expecting. So if you have a good foil machine, um, just want to let you know you can use a foil. But we are just going to do the original stamping. We're going to use a gold embossing. This one, I don't think so. I need to show you how. Just stamping with a versa mark and uh, embossing on the black card stock. And I'm going to show you how you can add those stuff, okay? And then this one, I'm going to show you the demo how to do that. I'm going to show you how to make these uh, little guys here. So cute. Okay, so this is what uh, I found at the dollar store. It's kind of like this. They have a some kind of letter, I think. And then the pong pong. And then these are tassels. Tassels? So what I did is I just uh, trimming it. 
So that's about like this, right? I actually trimming the pong pong side. So you see, I steal my pong pong here. And then you can just keep a user for blending. And then I just use this uh, ribbon part. No, it doesn't tape part to put on the top and on the bottom, make it look like a, a, like a real carpet. So if you see something like that, I saw actually Michael's ad, but they sell $4.99. These I got from dollar store, it's only $1.50 Canadian, which is very good. But that's okay. I'm going to show you how you can create this by yourself. And then also these, how to create these. I don't know, what do you call this in English? You know, those, uh, I don't even know how they call in Chinese, those, uh, this part. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do that. That one, I actually use this uh, cotton tape or ribbon to create that. I'm gonna show you. So don't worry, that's do or golden embossing first. And we are going step by step how to do that. But before we do that, I want to make sure my watercolor is ready to use. So I haven't used this for a while. What you're gonna do is you're gonna just spray some water and then let it sit for maybe three, four minutes. And then by the time when we want to do the coloring, they will be ready to use. And I'm going to show you how my how I color them the most laziest way and the easiest way to do. So I have my car stock here already. I have my gold car stock. And then like I say, see, this stamp is only A2 size stamp, but A2 size stamp doesn't mean you can only make an A2 size car. I am actually going to make this a five by seven car. Nice and big, looks just perfect and looks really like a Persian carpet. You know, I just love a Persian artwork. Okay, so I am going to use uh, this uh, regular cardstock and this is the regular cardstock that I found from the Michaels, it's 110. It's actually good quality. And then remember, if you want to do the blending, you got to use a uh, regular cardstock. Those are Macro cardstock or the dog glossy, it doesn't really, you cannot really blend in. All the glossy paper, you cannot blend. Okay, so we're gonna do the embossing first. So I have my embossing body here. If we don't have an embossing body, you can just use a Swiffer, kind of rubbing the surface, especially um, this carpet, magic carpet is really, really detailed, right? So I have my Versa mark here, and then I'm going to ink my stamp, okay? Make sure every, everywhere is nicely tapped. Okay, and then I'm going to just try to do my best to put uh, my car in the middle. And then this is just a quarter size of the letter size. So that will be 4.25 um, by 5.5. So I'm going to just raw. We said this is a this a pin tool is much easier to help you ink your stamp. And after I do that, I just want to make sure. Okay. So my stamp is kind of dirty, you can see. It's supposed to be clean. And then we are going to ah, I'm missing one spot. I'm gonna do one more one more time. Make sure the stamp is clean. Or you can use uh, Versa Versa Mark, uh, sorry Versa Fine to do your embossing. They will work too. So that's just do it one more time. Okay, and then now we are look at how detailed is. Uh, image i think you just use uh, see how pretty it is you don't even have to do anything you can do the black uh, background you can use a red background like a navy blue background 
I don't think so you need to do anything. They look so, so, so nice already, right? And then, but I want to just try something, okay? I want to give some color. So I am using this uh, Color Crest uh, Mica color. I will take a look, see if I can find this on the Amazon, but uh, I'm sure they have uh, other, other paint that you can painting on the black cardstock. It's just a probably different kind of foam, right? Okay, so in the beginning, I was a kind of, do you like doodling? I, I don't, I am the person having a problem to stay inside the line. So in the beginning, when I do the coloring, I really try to stay inside the line very carefully, color it. And then I kind of lost it. I can't do it. So if you like to doodling, you can use your coping marker, watercolor, whatever. Just take your time. But I really don't have the patience to, you know, working on the detail. So I show you how I color. Okay. So you, we already pre rinse or or paint, right? And those uh, paint it looks awesome because uh, they have uh, some kind of shimmering color. Let me bring the image a little bit closer so you can see better. Oh, and the good news is my prototype is uh, heading here. I thought they supposed to arrive next week, but actually, hopefully I can get it today. If I get it today, I'm going to do a video unbox it to show you what the prototype looks like. Okay, so you can do whatever, what color you like. If you want to stay with one tone or you want to work on the detail, but I am really, not good for coloring. So this is how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to just color like that. Okay. I know what you're thinking. That's ugly. Yeah, I agree with you, but just wait. So this is how I coloring. Okay. Just do that. And I'm going to do even a little bit white is okay. And then you can, this is just like a watercolor. They can be blending the color together. So kind of just, uh, I actually have a Persian carpet. Just a lot of Persian artwork. They are just amazed. And then you can kind of just blending a little bit with that. Okay, and then I'm going to, oh, now I want to change it to the other, other color. So I do clean my brush. And then around our space there, I'm going to just use my silicone mat. So I'm going to just uh, do that. Okay, kind of blending the color a little bit. I know it's ugly at this moment, but I promise it's going to look awesome. If you are the person like to working on the detail, you can do that. If you don't have at least paint, that's okay. You can use just the regular dye base impact. They will work just fine. Going to do a little bit red here. Okay, just make sure you cut color everywhere. Uh, and then I want to keep that white border, so kind of don't touch that white border. Otherwise, you have to, you know, trimming it. And then, oops. Okay, just uh, keep coloring. Okay. If you accidentally paint that place, you kind of just have to trimming it. And then, ooh, I actually like this color. I'm going to do some copper. Okay, just make sure pre-rinse your paint, watercolor paint. Look how pretty it is. I'm going to show you something else. And then just paint everywhere. Okay, and then now I'm going to clean my brush. Okay, grab a tower here. Kind of blending that purple with that red. Okay, I think that's pretty good. And just wait, just wait. I know it's not there yet. So I'm going to just clean my table. If you have at least a silicone mat, I like this map and I don't like this map. I like this map because uh, 
I like this mat. No, I don't like this mat. Maybe I'm not going to use it. This mat is good because we can do like a reverse the stamp image, but any embossing powder or glitter, if you're working on this mat, the embossing glitter, they will stick on top. And then they, the feel feelings like you have a sand in your shoes. Okay, I am going to just heat up. Okay, so after we heat out, right? See the color is uh, very nice already, but it's more. So I'm going to just use a clean cloth and then I'm going to kind of just uh, clean the surface. Okay. I think now I have to trimming my... See the color? Isn't that pretty? So the wet cloth is kind of wipe off the color which is setting on your embossing and also they kind of blending it but there's more so i am going to trimming it i think i am going to add a pearl white layering it's going to look uh, so good so just uh, trimming it I'm going to mount the piece uh, white car stock and there's more don't go anywhere there's more there's always more okay, okay. so that's what it looks like right and we are going to do some final touch out to make this carpet looks uh, even better. So remember, where did uh, all those, uh, my little oh, makeup, those little eyeshadow applicator, we are going to need that. So I am going to use the uh, blue or Dark red, red. We're going to give it a little bit touch up. I think because this carpet is kind of red, right? See, the color is actually very pretty. Can you see those pretty color? But now we are going to do something to make uh, some part of a detail to pop out. So I'm going to use uh, this red color, memento, raba, ra, raba, robs. I always wondering how they come out with all the name. What does this rubber rub stoke? I'm going to Google it. Okay, so I'm going to just use my eyeshadow applicator. It is a good idea. You always testing your color first. We don't want it too much, right? That's a perfect color. And then I'm going to just kind of, ooh, look, 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 look. look. Okay, so we kind of just uh, around the corner, kind of just uh, rub a little bit color on top. I'm going to show you. See these uh, darker red to make those gold color pop out, isn't it? That's so pretty. Where did uh, my wet cloth go? Okay, and then we can just uh, look at, isn't that pretty? And then we are going to, not too much, just around the corner. Okay, let's do it again. Gently drawing a little circle. I think this applicator is better than the mini magic mushroom. Mini magic mushroom, every time I just use one or two times, I have to change the, 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 the sponge part. They won't last longer. But our full size and mini, uh, our full size mush, uh, mushroom is really work well. Okay, and then make sure you check our special combo. If you are interested to purchase the magic mushroom, you can see how much uh, shipping you are sa um, saving. Okay, let's do again. <laughs> Not too much. Okay, this corner. Okay. 
gentle, just doing a small circle. Depend on how dark you want. If you want the more dark, we can always add more. We can mix a little bit blue, but I'm going to save my blue for the middle because my middle is kind of blue, right? So let's do a little bit red here. I think that's just so pretty. This is what exactly in my mind when I designed this stamp, I was kind of imagine this is what I want. And then this is exactly what I get. See how pretty? Okay, and then we can add a little bit orange, you know. And then remember, I am using regular cardstock. You won't be able to blend in this color if you're using macro cardstock or the dog glossy. Every paper have their different um purpose for different job. Okay, and I actually found at least a one hundred pounds uh, car stuff on Michael's work very well. It's only fifteen ninety nine, and then I think it's a hundred fifty sheets. Okay, and then once in a while you can just gently not the your your cloth cannot be too too wet. Okay. If it's too wet, it actually wipe off that. See how pretty it is? Okay, and then for the center, I am going to use the blue. Always, that's a star blue, purple, they all good. That's always a start with a lighter color. If not enough, we can come back more. Don't start too dark in the, because we can't change it. Okay, and then I'm going to just uh, drawing a circle in the middle. And I'm going to add a little bit darker blue. And then I think I'm going to stop that. Okay, and then for that heart, I'm going to just give a... Whoop! How do you like? If you want to, we can um, add a little bit purple too, but I really think it's uh, good enough. So if we, we want to, oh, this purple is actually very nice too. You know that foundation is so important, so that gives you those kind of shimmering color. Okay. I think that's good enough. If it, these two, like uh, these purple and the uh, orange kind of bothers you, you can use the uh, one with the color, maybe orange, kind of blending it, hiding those two colors. Okay, and then when you finish, gently wrap. How do you like this color? I think it's so pretty, then isn't it right? See, this is more like a blue color, and then this uh, I already see the real silk Persian carpet. They change the light when you see from different angles. Okay, so do you like the blue or you like the red? I think they all good. And then now I'm going to show you how we can add this part and then make this a tassel tassel. Okay, so that's, I know um, this one is called tassel, right? Tassels is easy. You can, I think this red one is going to look so pretty to go with it. But I always think about it if you don't have a lease, what are you going to do? So we're going to make our own. So I already made the three and I am going to show you how to make it. It's so cute. And then if you have some rhinestone, um, you can, if you want to, you can actually add on two, but I don't want it too much. So I'm only going to use the four. Okay, so that's uh, have uh, this piece of uh, cotton, cotton tape or ribbon. Okay, let's do this. 
Does anybody know what's this one called tassels? How about here? Here, what do you call? What, what do you call this in English? I don't know how to call that in English. Okay, so first we are going to just have a two pieces. Okay, and then you're going to have a, oh, and then something very important. This silicone mat, it grab everything. So if you want to do embossing glitter, you had better don't use that, that silicone mat. Okay, and then we're going to just kind of trimming one side, the edge. Okay, show you. Kind of just trimming. We want to make a losing end. So these are stuff by trimming. If we don't have that piece of paper, they are going to stuck on that silicone mat. So this silicone mat is good and bad. It's just hard to clean. I have, to, I have to bring it to my kitchen to wash it. Okay, watch carefully. So after I trimming it, I'm kind of just want to lose uh, the, the end. Whoop. Okay. You have to loosen the end first, otherwise, okay. You can see it's already start to showing. Okay, and again, try to move. Hey. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Almost there. Oh, you can go to the dollar store. See? Isn't that exactly look like a carpet? Okay, I am going to actually mount it first. Okay, use enough pay. Otherwise, your magic carpet is going to fly away. So I'm going to just uh, mount it in the middle. It looks really pretty with a white border, right? And then I'm going to use the uh, tape. It's easier. So I have at least a quarter. I think this is a A1 quarters. Almost here. Do you like this video so far? If you do, leave me a comment. Let me know. Okay. And then Use this part, kind of just uh, attach. Oop. Is that look? Oh, we can move a little bit forward. It. Have you received your order yet? I actually have a customer. They already received their spring order. Look. Okay, and then we got just a trimming here. See? He did not really look like a carpet. Okay, isn't that pretty? I think that looks really nice already, right? Isn't that look like a Persian carpet? Right? I think it's just so pretty. But we want to add at least a tassel. We can make a one or two. So I show you how to do it. It's so easy. In my one of my video, I was showing you guys how you can make this ribbon maker by using two chopsticks, right? But uh, I think it's very useful because this one can help you to make a ribbon. And then if you don't have it, 
Here is another option. You can just uh, go to the home table and then in the back of when they tr like uh, cutting the wood, just uh, find a piece of uh, uh, small wood or just uh, some small wooden block and then just uh, buy two long screw. And then you kind of just uh, screw it and then that's uh, your um, ribbon maker. I think they will work just fine. Otherwise, you can use a two chopstick and I will try to find that video and then um, I will share the link below. So we are going to just uh, cut one piece first, I have it ready. And then we are going to just go and this is like an inches wide. And then we're going to do 15 loop. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, six. 15. Okay, 15, and then you are going to just tie a knot. Okay, tie a knot there. Okay, Oop. okay, like this. Okay, kind of leave a little bit longer here. And then the one I asked you to trimming in the beginning, we are going to just uh, kind of tight a knot in the middle, very, very tight, two knot. And then that's what's it look like, like a ribbon, right? You can use that too. And then the one, the middle part is going to be the place we're going to hang in that one. So I'm kind of just holding on the top and I'm going to just uh, folding both side like this and then we're going to use uh, this uh, i know a lot of you guys are doing the quilting sewing so i'm sure you can find this kind of twine this is from the wonder field is one of my very good friend based in calgary they have uh, all but i don't think so they do the retail they have uh, all the beautiful colored twine but uh, i don't even know how to sew I have a no patient to do the sewing. Okay, and then we are going to just uh, tie it. I'm going to use my T. No, I'm not going to use my T because I'm in front of a camera. That's kind of not nice. Okay, sorry. I supposed to put here. I think. Uh, you get what I'm trying to say. Just to kind of secure that tighting area. Okay, I have too many pieces. We can just trim it. Okay, so I have uh, my two pieces for hanging. If we have uh, some extra, we can just trim it. Okay, and here. Oh, make sure to do on the paper because uh, it's going to stuck on my silicone mat. So we have a place hanging my tassel, right? Tassel. Like this. Okay, and now we're going to trimming all the extra. We don't need it. And then you are going to cut the between. Okay, like this, like this. And then we just a trimming to make a like a wrong shape. Okay, make sure if you are using the silicone mat, you got to put a piece of paper under. Otherwise, those are little pieces. Okay, so I am back and then. We are going to put these uh, four tassels in the corner, right? So there's two way to do it. One way, you can just uh, um, use your punch tool, just uh, punch a hole in the corner, and then you just use your poking tool, kind of poking these uh, tassel in, right? But uh, I kind of don't like the hole, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just tape it. So I kind of just measure the sizes here, and then I need the tape. I just have this 
masking tape here. So I'm going to, it's in the bag, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to just kind of make sure the length is the same here. Okay. Like here. And then here. Four pieces here. One more piece here. Hey, that's very cute. Okay, and then it's a this more. So we can trimming the extra that we don't need it. Okay, let's take a look. I think that's very cute. Okay, and then I'm going to mount it. So I'm going to just uh, use the phone tape. Like this. How do you like my magic carpet? I really like it. Ah! Be careful, they don't stick on top. Okay, and then I'm going to just uh, put on top. Wow. I think it's very nice. You know, the Persian culture carpet is very important to their life. They actually sit on the carpet, eat the food. They don't really have a dining table. How did I know? Because my husband had a half Persian blood. So that's why I really love the Persian um Persian carpet. And then we are going to, if you want to, we can just uh, add the sun rhinestone. Let's see. We need it. So this one, I think it's too much. I only need a four for the corner. Okay, like this. I really enjoy this uh, magic carpet. I was thinking, I was looking for some image that I can put on top, but I don't have those uh, lantern, like Aladdin lantern. But I think just by the itself, I think they are so pretty already. How do you think? And then look at my tassel, it's really cool. Okay, if you know what do you call this in English, leave me a comment, let me know because I don't even know what it call in Chinese. What do they call this in Chinese? Okay, so that's today's video. I hope you like it. I really like this uh, Persian carpet. I think it's just so pretty. Okay, so I have a two more video that I am working on that and for the garden flower and the tickles, the feather, the feather, the pika feather. And then I have uh, received all these what? for our second car challenge and the sound of a car sharing for the car swap. So if you have time, I will love to receive the car from you and I'm doing the car swap. You send me one car, I send one car back to you. You might get a, one of the car from my video. Hey, you never know, maybe 10 years later, I'll become very popular. Okay, so this is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stamp. Thank you so much, see you soon, bye.